Hello, there's a lovely day outside, so why don't play some guitar? Some baritone guitar. So why do you need a baritone guitar? I'm gonna show you. So for example, if I play something like this, and then add a baritone guitar one octave below, or almost one, I don't know if it's really one octave, but <laughs> you get the deal. It sounds like this. It's cool, right? So basically, if you feel like your guitar part or like the rhythm part in the song is a bit thin, you can add a baritone guitar. The song gets a little bit more full, you know, you, you fill out the bottom end in another way. So it's not like a bass, because that's um, that's another story, that's fill out the, the, the bass part. And then you have like the guitars around maybe 100 to... Um, yeah, the mid-range, you guys know. <laughs> 100 to maybe a thousand hertz or something. Uh, and then, you know, between like 100 and 300, it's hard to mix as well. But around there, you can say the baritone is gonna shine. So if you want a little bit, bit more punch in your, um, or a little fatter sounding mix, you can add some baritone guitars. Uh, and it of, often sounds pretty good. Like in the you, you heard in the beginning track, I played some baritone, but then I, I did some, first I did some rhythm, and then I did some lead, and the lead sounds pretty good as well. I'm gonna show you. So as you can hear, it's pretty cool to add it, and it sounds good on its own as well. Just listen to this. sounds really nice. So you can have it as a solo instrument and as a rhythm instrument. And the tuning is... <laughs> Just let me see here. I, I wrote it down somewhere. C, F, B flat, E flat, G and C. So it's just like a regular guitar, but it's tuned down to C instead of E. So if you play a C on a regular guitar, then you play an E on uh, the baritone to match the guitars. So it's a klingande C, as they say in Swedish, you know, it's... Um, I don't even know what it means, so uh, yeah. Let's see here. I need to adjust the mic just a little bit. We want the crisp sound, you know? So um, now I'm gonna play you something. I, I did that, I had the intro video, you know, but now you're gonna hear how it sounds by its own. Just a little uh, something improvised. <laughs> So when would I use this guitar? Like you can like use it everywhere, I think. If you if you have like a guitar, a rhythm section, and you just play, you don't have like a specific um, specific part, and you just play the chords, then you can add the baritone. Just you don't have to have it high in the mix, but you can just have it a little bit. You know, it's gonna fill out the the song really well. And this particular guitar is not a baritone guitar. It's just a regular Fender from Mexico. It looks like an old guitar, but it really isn't. I think it's like from the mid-2000s maybe or something. I have to check the serial number. So you can do this on any guitar. So you don't really need to buy a baritone guitar. And that's good. Because, but, but yeah, it's, you know, it's always different with every guitar. So your guitar maybe gonna sound different than mine, as I told you before. The good thing about this guitar is every shape is the same. So you have your, your vanilla C stuff you have your vanilla D it's just the same you just need to think a major third up or um, what you say let's see here. Uh, if you have a regular guitar you have to think so if you're playing C on a regular guitar in E tuning E standard you play E on this one so just have that in mind you can write like uh, sheet paper if you want. <laughs> I do that sometimes because I can't really think that fast in the head. It, it depends on the song. If it's an easy song, sure. Yeah. So, uh, conclusion. Use the baritone guitar. 
that's my conclusion. So if you're having an old guitar lying around, just slap on some 12s or 13s or something and just tune it down to C or B. It depends. <laughs> you can tune it in B as well, B standard. And then just play away. I think that uh, you will find that very nice because it's it's a completely different sound. It's it's the same tuning, uh, like uh, playing wise, but it's lower. So it sounds really fat and nice. You will really enjoy playing it. Uh, so that's another great <laughs> that's another great thing about the baritone guitar. It sounds completely different, but it's the same. So that's really nice. I hope you guys have learned something today, <laughs> and see you in the next video.